松井キャシーさんにアジア女子大学について話を聞きました。UW has been supporting Asian women's education, right?、Uh, could you elaborate on that? So, the Asian University for Women,、uh, its primary mission is to educate、uh, leaders and、uh, people who can、uh, affect change.、Mm-hmm. Um, and as we know, in many parts of the world, particularly in South Asia or the Middle East,、uh, there's a lot of inequity.、Uh, women、okay. are not. Uh, granted the same、uh, rights as men.、Uh, we know that、uh, a lot of this has to do with lack of sufficient、uh, educational and academic training.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we know that there is a lot of poverty, that there is disease, that there is hunger, that there is terrorism.、Uh, a multitude of、uh, challenges facing communities across this part of the world, but Uh, the philosophy behind why, we,、uh, why AUW was launched、uh-huh. is precisely to provide an answer to this very large range of challenges that are facing、um, the region. In other words, if you think about if you can educate women,、uh-huh. typically an educated woman will pass on that knowledge of education to the next generation. In other words, her children.、Uh-huh. Um, she is more educated and knowledgeable about、uh, nutrition.、Uh, so perhaps she'll、uh, think about the dietary needs of her children. She'll be more knowledgeable about, about, about health,、uh, about vaccinations. So that can reduce, for example, mortality rates.、Mm-hmm. Uh, educated women tend to get married later, tend to start their families later. So. All of these things, I think, the root of、uh, some of the solutions、uh, that we think are possible start with women's education.、Mm-hmm. So, really, that is the、um, origin of the mission of AUW, which is to provide high potential, talented women in Asia with a world class,、uh, best in class quality higher education. If we look at the talent that exists, In these、uh, areas of Asia and the Middle East, it's frankly astonishing how much、uh, ambition and、uh, talent these women really hold. But what's missing is the opportunity to, to blossom and to shine and to really maximize that potential that is clearly within them, but they just don't have the chance to, again,、uh, exploit that, that potential within them. So,、mm-hmm. Uh, we think that again, there's a lot of problems and challenges we know in that part of the world. One out of four,、uh, I think, girls who are not in school are in this part of Asia.、Uh, tell me about your activities with Shelby Fiat. What have you、sure. done? So,、um, Fiat, first of all, has been a tremendous partner with AUW.、Uh-huh. Uh, really, from the moment we began our activities trying to raise awareness、yeah. uh, here in Japan. And, Uh, we have been very uh, fortunate uh, to have been involved and engaged with, share with Fiat's activities. For instance,、uh, they've hosted events where they would bring、uh, representatives from、uh, many of the、uh, nonprofit organizations that they uh, support. Uh-huh. And AUW was、uh, lucky enough to be chosen to be one of those、uh, organizations to present、mm-hmm. to an audience. Through Share with Fiat, we've been able to reach out to Individuals, for example, here in Japan,、uh, in the communities here, and just have a conversation, start a discussion about so why is it that you know, women in the, this part of Asia,、uh, many of them are, in,、uh, are forced into marriage at the ages of 13 or 14? Why do they have children at a very young age? A lot of this is awareness building and education, it gets a conversation going. So I think, again, Um, it starts, change starts with knowledge, change starts with awareness, and I think this is exactly what、um, Share with Fiat has, has accomplished、uh, over the years. So,、uh, really great work. Danjo Kaksa が大きいとされる南アジアで女性のリーダーシップに特化した教育を届けるアジア女子大学。女性の教育が世界を変えるという言葉に大きな希望を感じました。<音楽>